Our, our newest member to TCC, welcome. Thank you. First and foremost, Antonio, already you have changed my life just in so many ways. Um, I resonated with 100% of 100% of everything that you had to say, and I cannot wait to grab my book. So that's going to be as soon as we um, close out here. I'll be going. It's on Amazon, I imagine. Um, so uh, definitely a game changer. You mentioned um, another one of my favorites, John Gordon and the energy bus. Um, he was another, and uh, I resonated with that as well. But um, so there's so many things I would love to sit here and talk to you for our, I'll just real quick, <laughs> a couple of things. One is you are a coach and you take clients, correct? Still? Yes. Okay. Two, do you have a coach of your own or do you only use uh, your man's group? Uh, I'm blown away by how many coaches don't have coaches. I have a, a couple of coaches that I work with uh, that, that I pay hefty sums to every single month. Uh, so 100%, I, I have a okay. coach. All right. And um, it's funny, one of the, I haven't been on LinkedIn that long. Um, and the number one thing I learned from LinkedIn is to invest in yourself. Like that, honestly, and I have a master's degree, I mean, was a new concept for me. So uh, I think that is interesting that, you know, how much you promote that. And I believe in that now, um, wasn't always, um, didn't even think about it. Like, the, like what I said, never even came up as a thought. Um, my question, my last question to you is, um, I'm, I love the part when you said about there is an expiration date because I'm a firm believer in um, time is limited. We can't get it back. Um, and I am on the other side of 50. Um, so and, and starting a new, finally doing the dream that I've had in my head for a long time, which is I'm currently writing a book. And my dream is to be doing what you're doing right now. So with that said, my last question is, did you memorize? Well, two, well it's a double question, then I will be quiet. Did you memorize your speech today or in general, do you? And two, do you have to have the book ahead of time before you can speak for credibility? Done. All right, well, first, thank you for everything that you, that, that you just said and your kind words. And if I forget something, jump in, remind me which one you asked, the questions you asked. I gotta say something about John Gordon real quick, who's a good friend. Talk about friends. One time I found myself at uh, Jacksonville Airport about to ca catch a connection to Atlanta, I looked across and there goes John Gordon. We're on the same flight, random. We're sitting next to each other on the plane. This is before my book came out. Uh, and he's like, I was telling about my idea for this book. And on that flight from Jacksonville to Atlanta, John Gordon said, let's outline your book right now. And so he just sat there with me and we outlined the book together. And we outlined a book, a whole other 55,000 word book that uh, did not come out <laughs> that ended up leading to this one. So by the way, if anyone's writing something, just know that sometimes your first thing won't be the one that comes out, but the work that you invested into it leads to the next thing. Don't, don't discount the work on something that may never see the light of day. That There's amazing art in that. Uh, the question regarding, do you need a book before credibility? Uh, I would speak, well, let me, going back to investing in yourself. I, prior to having a you know, book deal, you know, with, with a major book deal with Penguin Random House for Stop Living on Autopilot, I self-published three different books. First one starting back in 2010. So I was willing to invest in myself prior to a publishing house being willing to invest in me. Uh, that was a strategic decision because I wanted to sell books when I had my speaking engagements. And it is cool to have something to point to as well. But to be clear, I, I was speaking prior to having a book. Does it add something? Yes, necessary, no. Uh, regarding uh, memorizing. Uh, these days, I, I don't memorize. I'll give you an example. When I give a 60-minute keynote, I have a signature keynote that I deliver called Find the Edge. Uh, and the content's pretty consistent in that keynote. What's amazing about that is if you see me speak over the course of three straight days and deliver the same keynote, you're going to feel like you got three different keynotes, even though for me, you know, the, the, the core is there. I'm at a point in my career after speaking for over 10 years, I get in front of crowds of 5,000 people, sometimes crowds in front of 300, that I can adjust where the audience is in real time. And I know when I need to shift, this story is gonna work, this story isn't gonna work, I need to go to these archives, pull that out. The spirit, the spirit is taking me somewhere else, I'm gonna go there. I'm fine tuned enough and you know, a pro, real talk, a pro at what I do that 
if I get off of an exit, I know how to get back on. Uh, that's what pro speakers can do. And early in my career when I was speaking, I'd get off on an exit and I'd end up lost at a gas station asking the <laughs> gas station attendant for directions. <laughs> Regarding questions today that Scott asked me, listen, I have stories in my head. Uh, no, I, I'm, you're not getting canned responses from me. Uh, you probably saw some tears show up a little while ago when I referenced my wife. This is real. Have I shared some of these stories before? 100%. At the end of the day, I, I'm a storyteller. But I, I want to be clear that I am in this moment when, I, when I'm telling whatever story that I'm sharing. Do I have an arsenal, a library of a lot of stories and of anecdotes I can share? 100%. Uh, but I, I'm present in this moment, 100%.